And now for the news in detail. Nine people are dead and 68 injured in a fire that broke out this evening in a high-rise building on Old Airport Road. Eyewitnesses say it was a horrifying spectacle. Five of the deaths occurred when people leapt from the building in a panic. Around 4.30 p.m. fire broke out at Carlton Towers. The officials have not confirmed about the reasons yet, but it may be a short circuit. As panic spread, people broke windows to try to escape. Many people who were in and around the building also tried to help those trapped inside. The smoke was very horrible. It's very difficult. Now I went to 7th floor. It was very up to here. It was smoke. It's very black. We are shouting loud because if some people were unconscious, at least they can recognize. There is no official word yet on the cause of the fire. But the authorities seem to know where it originated. The fire started from the ducts, the service ducts where you have your service for cables, for pipes and other things. So that was a conduit for the spread of the fire to the other floors. Sixteen fire engines were involved in the operations, but rescue attempts were hampered because of the traffic snarls. The injured have been admitted to the nearby Manipal hospital. Worst, you can't imagine. The, it's a nightmare because in front of me one lady jumped from the window. It was something which, if I have not taken a decision that time, I think 15 people have lost their life. Officials at Manipal Hospital say the next 54 hours will be very critical. Many of them were brought dead and 19 of them are quite ill in the ICUs and another 40 of them are in the floors. Among the people in the ICU, three are quite seriously ill. Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa and several ministers arrived on the scene soon afterwards. They are announcing rupees 2 lakh for the deceased family and we will bear the all medical expenses for all admitted to hospital. The persons who are injured, 50,000 will be given to them also. The fire at Carlton Towers may have been put out. But there are serious questions bound to be asked now about whether Bangalore is prepared to tackle such incidents in the future. With Gurpreet Sidhu, this is Shilpa Das Gupta for News Now.